Okay, so we are going to go ahead and we're going to create a root user um, which can log in from SSH um, without the use of a key file. So um, this is a case where uh, you know we've we've launched an instance instance on Amazon Web Services, or maybe you just have an Ubuntu computer, um, a server, remote server, or computer that um, you know is only using. A key authentication it isn't allowing password authentication and you just want to set up a, a we're going to combine it with a user and then to enable SSH password authentication okay so we're using putty currently so I'm going to go ahead and open up putty now and um, you know uh, if you're if you're on a regular computer on a Linux computer and you're just going to another Linux computer this procedure is different um, but this is using putty on Windows or putty on um, on on Ubuntu or other Linux. Okay, so uh, so we're going to go ahead and connect. And notice that in this case, we're on a um, kind of the default installation of Ubuntu on Amazon Web Services. And notice that we had to use the key that they gave us, which you know you'll see this line here: authenticating with public authenticating with public key, import open SSH key. Okay, so we know that we use the key to get in. And let's go ahead, and we're going to go ahead and add a um, a uh, a user so we're going to go ahead and do now I've, I've written out um, instructions for you here so um, we're going to go ahead and paste now putty is kind of weird on copy and paste you actually you know if you're copying you control C out here but then to paste into putty you just right click and then the odd thing about putty is when you actually when you highlight text when you release the mouse it's automatically co copied into your clipboard so notice that I just copied that text there Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add user. Uh, the user we're going to add is going to be called uh, limp admin. Okay, um, you should use whatever user that you want to add. So, okay, so there's limp admin was added. I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a password for him or her, and we're going to retype our password. Okay, so easy enough. Here's the information for. Our new user, you can just hit enter all the way down if you don't want to add any information in, any additional information. Then what we're going to do is we're going to promote that user. So we have created kind of a user who's in no user groups. So it's just a standalone regular user. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get, do, uh, you notice that we use this sudo command at the beginning of this line, at the beginning of last line. If you don't know, sudo is, uh, is basically, because it's you becoming the super user. So it's it's whoever you're logged in as, you're running that command on that line as an administrator. That's, that's basically what it means. So we say, hey, run, run the program user mod as an administrator. That's what the sudo means. And we give these options, uh, you know, hack underscore, or sorry, hack lowercase a capital G, and then sudo, and then we're going to say limp admin there. And Basically, we're saying, hey, add limp admin to the sudo user group. That's all we're saying. So we hit enter. Everything works fine. So we've made our user. We've made our, we've made our admin user. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to edit uh, the, the SSH uh, server config file. So when we connect to our, serve, to our web server, our Ubuntu web server, right, or Ubuntu computer, uh, we're connecting with the program that runs, over, runs SSH. Um, so, and that's what PuTTY does, it's an SSH client. So the SSH client, which is PuTTY in this case, connects to the SSH server program on the remote computer. So what we're gonna do is we're going to edit the config file for that server. Okay, and how we're gonna do that is that we're gonna use an easy text editing program called Nano. Okay, so this is saying, hey, launch the program Nano as a super user, and we're giving Nano the thing that it needs, which is the the address of the file that it's going to edit, right? Or not the address, but the, the path to the file it's going to edit. Notice that in Linux, files don't necessarily have to have file extensions. So uh, this sshd underscore config is a text file. It's the name of the text file. So we're going to hit enter. And there are uh, our, um, our uh, nano starts. So notice that uh, our, our, it is, notice at the top here, that um, that our uh, console, this our putty here, shows at the top the file that we're editing, and shows the program. 
new nano. Okay, so we're, our instructions give us the line we want to and we want to uh, edit here. So we have password authentication. So I'm going to copy this and notice down at the bottom of Nano it says that Control W is how we do where is. So I'm going to do hold down the Control key and press W, and then I'm going to paste, which is right click. So I'm going to search, and what I'm doing is I'm searching for the phrase password authentication. Okay, now previously I edited this on this computer when I was kind of practicing to make this video. So when you go in, it's going to look like this. It's going to say password, password authentication, no. And you're going to just going to change that to yes. Okay, we've made our one change. We, do, we want to exit now. So notice that nano, if you control X to exit. Then it asks, hey, do you want to save the file? It says save modified buff, buffer, which means, hey, do you want to save the file, basically? And you put yet uh, shift Y, so capital Y for yes. And then it says file name to write out, and it just defaults to the same file name. So you're overwriting the same file. If you want to write a different file, you change the file name, but we don't. So we hit enter. Okay, and there we have it. So now basically the uh, SSH has been written. And now all we're going to do just for kind of safekeeping here, we're going to restart the SSH server. So, um, sorry, we're not going to restart, we're going to reload. Okay, so we're going to say, hey, as the system administrator, I want to run the system control, system CTL, uh, and we want, to, we want to call the reload function for SSHD. Hit enter. Okay, so there we go. So, it's, uh, so now we should be able to log in with just a password. So we're going to go ahead and test that out. So we're going to exit. Um, you want to do this last step because basically that's, if we have any problems there, uh, when you reload the config file for your SSH server, you want to know now before you disconnect. Otherwise, you could run into other issues. So we're going to exit PuTTY to test. So we exit. We're going to open up PuTTY. Now, before we uh, we saved the um, the the options for logging into that web server. So let's go ahead and load those. So notice we have our IP address, we have our port, we have the name called web server, right? Uh, and we're going to go back into SSH, into off, and we're going to delete uh, our path to our key file. We're going to go back to session and save. Okay, now notice that when we click open, it gives us our login. Okay, but when I try to log in just as the, as the default account, Ubuntu, and enter, it asks me for Ubuntu's password. So notice I'm not using the key file now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close. And we're going to try to um, log in again. Let's double check that it didn't save there. Okay, so we're going to try to log in again. And we're going to click uh, Open. This time I'm going to log in as the user we made. So Lemp Admin. And I'm going to give the password. And there we are. Success. So... So basically, you'll notice at the top here, we did not use that key file to log in. Now, if this is a production server, you want to keep the key file. The key file is a more secure way to log in uh, than a password. Um, however, uh, using a password is pretty darn convenient. Uh, so if you want to, this is how you do it. Great. Uh, best of luck.